Hey guys, how you doing? This is Pepper Shay Shay. This is a blackout reading. My last reading, it kind of upset me. Um, because someone, it came up as someone being homeless. I'm going to let you guys know. I have experienced being homeless. Um, living in, um, not volunteer, I mean not, um, by mistake, but I volunteered to be homeless years ago when I went to a domestic violence shelter due to abuse with my ex-husband. I'm sharing all this with you guys because I don't know who this message is for, but the Holy Spirit led me to share this, okay? Um, I'm not embarrassed of my past at all. Again, that's who made, that's why I'm Emperor Shay Shay, that's why I'm the person I am today. And if I can say something to help the next person, I'm going to do it. No matter, the reason why I said that is because no matter if you're in a homeless shelter with your ch children, regardless of how you had to go there, commend yourself for going there. No matter if you are homeless for financial situations or whatever and around the holiday. The holidays is not, well, no, I'm not going to say it's not a good time, but it hadn't been a good time for me in about maybe the first three years when my son passed. It was hard for me to experience life without my son, then life with only one son, and then life, because you know, guys, I had... um three living, I had two living sons left, long story, but anywho, then to go down to one son, and then now my son is grown, and now for me to be by myself, I, I get through it, I pray a lot, and of course, I live in my purpose, but I, I pray a lot, I have my angels, I have my ancestors, and not only that, guys, I keep away from unhealthy behaviors, unhealthy um, people, people that's low vibrational, um, when I mean low vi vibrational, I'm not um, trying to disrespect anybody. I'm just saying people that wants to start trouble, keep up trouble all the time, talk about people, gossip. May it be family members or people you just meet on the street, frenemies, people you think that you're friend. I don't have none of that, okay? I still talk to my little sister every now and again. I don't be underneath anyone on the daily. No, no ma'am, no more. Um, I am, I'm in my spirituality. I decorate my house. I tr um, that keeps me going for the holidays, guys. I did go shopping for food, even though my, I'm on a detox, because I will probably, if my son doesn't come over, then I'll say, okay, that's fine. I may make, like, a little, you know, healthy um, meals. I've learned from quick weight loss. Um, you can make, you can substitute different things to make um, dressing and turkey and things of that nature. I've learned a lot of new things. I exercise. Um, I try to get into things that I like that's positive. And that'll help you guys through the holidays if you're experiencing those things or if you experience the loss of a child, loss of a loved one. Because as you guys do know, I'm still going through the loss of my sister and she hasn't left yet. Okay? So I honestly kind of blocked that out and gave it to God. And I'm moving on with my life. Okay? Um, when you really are, I always say, pray, 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 and meditate, because when you're really living in your purpose, God is going to embrace you, and home is where the heart is. It's not your space. It's not where you live. It's how you live. It's how you think. Change your mental. Change your inner self, and you can change your outer self. I say that all the time. There's balance, guys, three, three, three. And I'm not just saying it. I've lived it. I've been in shelters around the holidays. I've I've done it all, okay? So it can be done, but you cannot do it without the Holy Spirit. And I'm going to leave you with that. Love you guys.